Star Wars fans are thrilled about the new plot featuring the renowned Star Wars characters now that Ahsoka has finally arrived. The fact that Sabine Wren had started her Jedi training with Ahsoka is one of the biggest discoveries to come from the first episodes, or even the trailers, of the series. Ahsoka took Sabine on as an apprentice despite the fact that she had never demonstrated any aptitude or sensitivity for the Force, but the instruction appeared to break down. The mystery of Sabine and Ahsoka's unsuccessful apprenticeship and what transpired to cause a gap in their friendship is slowly revealed in the early episodes of Ahsoka. The Mandalorian Sabine Wren was a great student at the Imperial Academy when she first enrolled, but she was lured into the Empire's traps. She was induced to make a tool that could wipe out her people. She left the Empire, was accused of betraying the government in Mandalore, and eventually joined the Ghost Crew. After being welcomed by their family, she launched her rebellion against the Empire. During the Clone Wars, Ahsoka was a Jedi, but she left the Order before the Great Purge. She possessed both skill with her lightsabers and force might. She no longer lived the life of a Jedi, but she still felt obligated to act in accordance with the will of the Force and assist the galaxy in its needs. Sabine and Ahsoka both participated in combat during the Galactic Civil War, and even helped found the Rebel Alliance in its very early years. Sabine was the first fulcrum, the moniker given to a Rebel agent undercover. Sabine first met Ahsoka when she began working for Bail Organa and the Rebels not long after the Jedi Order was destroyed. The point of contact for Hera Syndulla and the Ghost Team was Fulcrum. The crew's missions were given to them by Ahsoka, who also served as their liaison with other Rebel cells. At first, Sabine found it difficult to believe in Fulcrum and the Rebellion. For the majority of Season 1 of Star Wars, Rebels, Hera kept Fulcrum a secret. After experiencing betrayal and trickery at the Imperial Academy, Sabine was wary of any missions or covert operatives. Since Fulcrum is a Jedi, many of Sabine's worries seemed to be allayed. Ahsoka continued to support the Phoenix Squad and the Ghost Crew throughout the course of Rebels seasons. Sabine and Ahsoka had the opportunity to connect and get to know one another even though Ahsoka spent the majority of her time with Kanan and Ezra learning the mysteries of Malachar and the Jedi Temple on Lothal. Their interactions with Ezra Bridger serve as a strong link between the characters. Even if some shippers desire a different bond between Sabine and Ezra, Sabine saw Ezra as a brother. Ahsoka served as Ezra's mentor in many ways, and she considers him to be responsible for her survival in the world between worlds. Additionally, they both harbor a strong desire for Grand Admiral Thrawn's retribution. Sabine and the Ghost's crew carried on supporting the rebellion after Ezra vanished with Thrawn in the Purgil. Sabine stayed on Lothal after the conflict was over, as evidenced by the conclusion of Rebels and the start of Ahsoka. She rose to fame as a hero but hated the label. Audiences were given to assume that Ahsoka and Sabine set out to find Ezra together practically right away after the conflict ended in Rebels. Ahsoka has demonstrated that there was actually plenty of time before the heroes set out to find their missing companion. Ahsoka made an attempt to teach Sabine the Jedi ways at that time. Sabine was quite obstinate, as Ahsoka made apparent, and this made it challenging for Ahsoka to teach her. Hira, who serves as the voice of reason, listens intently as Ahsoka vents her emotions. Sabine's Mandalorian heritage is emphasized by Hira, who also points out that Ahsoka abandons Sabine too hastily. Sabine senses that Ahsoka doesn't want her around, even after she asks her for assistance with the map. She speaks with Haiyang about her emotions while she heals from her stabbing. Haiyang chastises Sabine for letting her lightsaber training fall behind. But she responds, I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. Sabine is aware of Ahsoka's anger toward her. She observes Ahsoka's disappointment as the map is gone, and she is aware that Ahsoka would not have approached her without Hira poking her as well. Sabine is aware that Ahsoka left her even though she didn't leave her. Sabine, however, proved to be difficult for Ahsoka to train. Haiyang further asserted that Sabine had no link to the Force. Ahsoka's anxiety and self-doubt may be caused by her past as a Jedi Padawan. She was deceived by the Jedi, which prevented her from completing her training. Ahsoka may have felt unprepared to be a Jedi Master since she no longer identifies as a Jedi, much like Kanan did. Sabine lacked patience with her own abilities and limits, while Ahsoka lacked the patience to learn how to become a good mentor. Despite working effectively together during the Galactic Civil War and the events of Star Wars, Rebels, it appeared as though Sabine and Ahsoka's relationship broke down. Sabine and Ahsoka discovered that they both lacked the patience to practice with one other when attempting to train as a master and apprentice. Despite the fact that Ahsoka eventually left Sabine, it left wounds that haven't fully healed. It will take some time before Sabine can feel confident enough to learn from Ahsoka about the Force and herself, and before Ahsoka can trust her. For a